Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest The Lost Tales and we are here once again in Amethyst Mountain with our next side story wolf who you guys have voted for over this past weekend. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll hit begin quest and we're gonna be playing on pretty easy this time because we will be playing as Lepus. Now Lepus has a really interesting challenge. <laughs> um, he may play on pretty easy but must hunt only five elk to feed his pups and or and beyond that, he has to rely on rabbits to feed them. So, we can hunt as much as we want here in Amethyst Mountain, it doesn't matter. But once we get out to, uh, once we get out to Slump Creek, we can only hunt, uh, five elk, and then the rest of it we have to find rabbits. And so, it would probably behoove us to figure out pretty quickly once we get to Slump Creek where the elk, is, or, or where the rabbits are actually going to spawn. Now, I'm pretty sure we should choose the den by Bison Peak Cutoff for that, because, um, we do have, uh, I think there's a rabbit spawn point there, if I'm remembering correctly. But before we really get into this, or rather as we really get into this, as a bunny shows up right there, or I should be calling them hares here as well. They're not actually bunnies, they are hares. Um, but as we're starting to get into this, I have a very special announcement. So, uh, we're going to be running something special here through our Wolf Quest series. We're kind of just trying it out. And we're actually going to be doing a giveaway, and so I will be at the end of this month giving away a Wolf Quest Steam Key to one of you guys. Now, you guys will, it's basically like a raffle, and so you guys will have to do something to enter that raffle. What are you going to have to do? Keep watching and keep your eyes peeled, because you might catch it, you might, uh, might notice it along the way, and if not, I will explain a little bit later in the video. So uh, keep watching if you want to find out how you could win a copy of Wolf Quest for yourself. Now, let's look at Lepus' stats real fast, and uh, so we look at his pack stats here. So he has 20% strength, 45% stamina, and 86% speed, which I think just means that it, the, um, I don't think he actually got an extra percent. I assume that's kind of just due, how to the, due to how the game rounds it, so uh, he probably has slightly less than uh, the stamina or something. Also, I don't know what's up with the uh, weird arrow there. I think the the hair carcasses glitch out a little bit, um, so that could be kind of fun. <laughs> but I do think they persist. I'm pretty sure they don't go away. So, where are the elk? This is one thing I'm definitely looking forward to about the new version, is that the elk will actually, uh, the, the hunting system will be totally different. I actually talked about this recently. I talked about, uh, I think it was last week I did a video on what I'm most excited for about Wolf Quest 3, and this is definitely one of the things that's going to be this new hunting system. Oh my goodness, do not run past the bull elf. That was dangerous. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, so, uh, one of the things here is, uh, oh yeah, he has pretty low stamina, doesn't he? He's more of a speed-oriented wolf, a lot like Nova was, so, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's something we'll, uh, we'll have to work with here. But, um... So yeah, that's definitely something I'm looking forward to, is the change of the hunting system. It will eliminate a lot of the problems with the current hunting system, including the winter hunt, I hope. And uh, it'll make things more interesting, because you can see, we didn't even really end up properly using Senti. We kind of just bumbled into the middle of them. Uh, we didn't even find the scent trail leading up to it, whereas uh, we're not just going to be able to do that in the new version. We're going to have to actually look for the, uh, the animals and try and find them. And uh, I don't know if that entirely will use the scent view. It probably will uh, quite a bit. We'll probably have to use that to track them from a distance. But with them not spawning in and out, I imagine we'll also be able to see them way out in the distance. And so if that's the case, there's the way we're going to find them is going to be uh, vastly different than how we do it in the current game. So it'll be pretty interesting to see. Let's go ahead and take down this elk as well, and we're gonna be well on our way to uh, finding a mate here. So we gotta do that, and then uh, our journey will really begin once we get to Slough Creek. So yeah, we have to get them all, we have to try and get all four pups safely to the rendezvous site. Again, if we happen to lose a pup to something other than starvation, then uh, we will kind of, um, I think discuss what you guys think should happen, but uh, if we end up losing a pup to starvation, that's it, he fails, because uh, we need to make sure we have enough food for them, even if we're going to be a little bit picky about what we're choosing to eat. So, it'll be kind of interesting to see how this all pans out. I've actually never done, ow, a challenge like this before. Um, we've done, we've done limited challenges, well, didn't we do... 
We had one where we could... Didn't we just have one that limited our hunting a little bit? I believe so. <laughs> um, I believe that was part of Kalara's challenge, is that she had a limited number of... Uh, or no, she had to hunt after. No, that was what it was. So it's di it was different, but I still think we didn't have too many elk. So what we'll probably end up doing is trying to plan most of the elk for the rendezvous site journey. And then we can probably run further out to eat from some of those. Because since we're playing on pretty easy, it's not going to uh, take up that much of our... Um, it's not going to take up that more... Like, it won't... It's not going to take up that much of our time... Uh, like, we'll have a lot more time. We'll have the time to be able to run out there and eat from a farther carcass, and it, because we're playing on pretty easy, we won't need as much of the carcass in the long run, so we can afford to eat a little bit of it. So, I think we'll be okay, but uh, it might be a little bit hairy to try and get the pups to actually be at their full weight. That might be kind of difficult, and so that's where I'm anticipating us having some problems. Uh, so we'll see how it ends up going. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to the Wolf Quest 3 systems because uh, I'm hoping they'll actually kind of replace... So so right now, this, this beginning mission is very much wash, rinse, repeat because we do this every time. We go and we kill a bunch of elk. We surplus hunting the herd, which really isn't all that realistic. And the reason we're doing all this is because we need a certain amount of experience to find a mate. And uh, I'm really hoping that'll change because, of course, in the new version, they've already started to show that they're going to have a courtship system. And I'm hoping this longer courtship process will actually replace their experience requirement because, yeah, okay, you need to be able to live as a wolf. They kind of want to teach you how to, how to be able to survive. Um, but uh, to have such a lengthy process for that. It's fun the first few times, but the longer you play the game, the more it becomes repetitive, and so I'm hoping the new system will, will kind of take away some of that repetition and add a lot more replay value to the game, and I'm hoping it'll take away this long region where we have to surplus hunt uh, just to get experience, because again, that's not the most realistic thing, and it would be, um, it'd be a lot a lot nicer to be able to focus more on the courtship period and actually on finding a potential mate uh, rather than, okay, we know we go to these certain places. And so that's one of the things I'm hoping to see. Now, again, disclaimer, I know I say this constantly, but I have to because I am on the beta team. Um, anything that I'm telling you guys is not some sort of special leak or special knowledge that I, I know something about the game you guys don't know. It's not like that. If I'm talking about something that hasn't been revealed, it's, uh, or that hasn't been expressly stated, uh, it's purely my speculation. So this is not saying that there's going to be some huge thing that's going to change everything. This is what I feel would be logical given the information we do have. And so there might be, there might not be. We don't actually know and we're not going to know until the game comes out and we actually have the chance to try it for ourselves. A lot of you guys have been asking me if I'm going to play Wolf Quest 3 when it comes out and the answer is heck yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing through the game. I'm super excited to be playing through the game and I'm definitely going to be playing it here on YouTube as soon as possible. Hopefully I'll be able to share some data bloopers and stuff with you too because I have been allowed to do that in the past. It's going to, de it depends on, it depends on um, a lot of things on whether I'm allowed to release footage or not, but I have been able to get permission for some things in the past, and so if I have that option again, then I definitely will be sharing some of that behind the scenes with you, um, but if not, then I will definitely be, even if not, definitely be jumping on Wolf Quest 3 as soon as we are able to play it, so keep your eyes out for that. As soon as the game comes out, we're going to be playing it, and uh, we're, we're hopefully going to be having a ton of fun getting to check out all of the, the new systems. I am very excited. This is taking Wolf Quest to a level we've never seen it at before. Um, it's really reaching the potential that this game has had but hasn't been able to reach due to technical restraints up until this point. Uh, I've talked some about this in previous videos, but now that computers are so much more powerful, they can actually handle this level of realistic simulation that Wolf Quest 3 is trying to achieve, and that's pretty darn awesome, honestly, because this old system was uh, built for 2007 years, and they weren't the most powerful thing in the world, and to have something like that, I can very much attest to the fact that it would have completely destroyed most computers. Uh, they would have slowed to a crawl. There's no way a computer from 2007 could handle a system like what Wolf Quest is trying to implement. And so as the technological restraints have expanded and given them more room to work with, they're really taking advantage of that now. And uh, it's incredible to see. 
I cannot wait. The maps are supposed to be 12 times bigger, so if you look at the region we have here, it's already not small, but uh, it's relatively easy to manage to explore all of it. And with that in mind, um, the, new, uh, the new maps are going to give us so much more region to explore and more danger in actually exploring, given that there are now going to be wandering threats like stranger wolf packs to kind of uh, kind of keep us in line. It's going to be a lot harder, I mean, rather than just not even having to worry about staying out of the stranger wolf territory. All you really have to do in the current game is not pick a fight with a stranger wolf if you don't want to get hurt. Um, or, like, I mean, there's not much risk in the elk hunt. There's not a lot of risk unless you're picking fights with something a lot bigger than you or with another wolf. Uh, there's really not too much danger here. And it'll add a lot more importance on being careful where you tread in the next version because, or in the update because it's uh, going to completely change that. Everything's going to be dynamic, and so to be able to uh, to survive, you're going to have to avoid getting into a fight with something, and it might it's no longer you pick a fight with it. It might pick a fight with you. So you might run into a bear or a stranger wolf pack, and it might not be too happy to see you, and instead of just waiting for you to make the first move, maybe it'll come after you. Um, I don't expect the bears will as much, except maybe in regards to a carcass or something. But uh, the stranger wolves definitely, if you're in their territory, they're not going to want you to stick around. They're going to want you to be leaving, and they're going to want to see you go someplace else <laughs> and not intrude on their territory. They're going to defend it at all costs, pretty much. And uh, I know in the video they talked some about how it'll depend on the number of wolves and the strength of the wolves, but honestly, if I had to guess, unless something has happened and those wolves are already very weak, in more times than not, they're probably going to go after you because you are a lone wolf. You do not have a pack to help you unless you happen to have a mate, and even then, they're still probably going to outnumber you because if they're wolves from a pack, chances are they're going to have several of their pack mates with you. So, while it might be possible in some cases to take on a stranger wolf and win, um, I have a feeling that more often than not, which is the case in real life as well, uh, as a lone wolf, you're going to be the one to want to flee. So, it'll be interesting to see how it all pans out, uh, but that's something I'm definitely looking forward to seeing. But it is true. I mean, when I went to Yellowstone several summers back, I actually talked with one of the, uh, the park rangers about wolves, and the one thing that he said that stuck with me all these years is the biggest threat to a wolf is another wolf, and it's very true, especially for a lone wolf. Um, a pack is going to cause a big problem. If they if they run into a wolf pack, there's a good chance they may not they may survive. They may not make it out of that. And uh, so that's why lone wolves will tend to be on the run. It's pretty rare to run into an aggressive lone wolf because it's just not conducive to survival. You try to challenge another pack like that, you're probably going to get killed. But with that said, that's not to say there haven't been anomalies. There have been uh, several situations in which pack wolves have, uh, or in which lone wolves have uh, interacted with packs. Sometimes they've even made their way into the pack. In very rare cases, they have replaced a leader who has died. Uh, it has happened before. It's not the standard situation, but it has happened. Uh, there was one very famous wolf who went from pack to pack and actually would try to find a mate amongst the pack members and kind of try to woo them away from their existing pack. And so he would linger around the edge of the territory and try to see if he could uh, convince one, one of the wolves to come with him as his mate instead of uh, sticking around with their pack. Now, I imagine the case with that, I don't really remember the details of it, but I think the case with that was that there were some wolves that were from previous year's litters that hadn't dispersed. Not every wolf will disperse right away, not, uh, and some of them may not disperse at all, it just depends. But most wolves do disperse. Uh, occasionally, though, you'll end up with a pack that has some older members that are older pups that have grown up in the pack. And, I mean, obviously they're not going to find a mate in the pack because it's their siblings. That would be weird. And uh, it's, bad for it's bad for survival, too. I mean, you only, you only see in really desperate populations or in human-controlled ones. Uh, that's another topic we've discussed in Niche, and Niche has done a pretty decent job of showing why inbreeding can be dangerous in a fairly simplified way. So, uh, but yeah, uh, wolves will avoid that at all costs, and so obviously if you have wolves that haven't dispersed, they're not going to be finding mate in their pack, and that's why a wolf like this one could potentially try and find a mate from a pack and possibly lure away a wolf to become his mate. And so, there, I, I, I think... 
I can't remember now for sure if it was stated or not, but I believe, and by the way, what I'm doing right now is, since we now have 800 experience, I'm actually heading up to this territory up here. Um, but what I believe has been stated, don't quote me on it 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure I remember reading it in one of the early blogs talking about, um, talking about the courtship and such not, when they were just hinting at the fact that they were going to have a new courtship system. I believe they mentioned the idea of possibly being able to woo a wolf away from its current pack. And that could prevent, a f or that could... That, if I can talk, boom. <laughs> if that could, that could prevent, present, that's my word. Hello. <laughs> that could present an interesting challenge if we had a wolf who was maybe a little bit more adventurous, a little bit more uh, perhaps a, a, of the cunning rogue sort. We definitely do have some of the, those characters in, um, in amongst our, um, our, our, our potential heirs. And again, that's a little bit anthropomorphized, but it has happened in real life. It's not to say that uh, something like, like the, the, the personality traits are anthropomorphized, the actions are less so. So it could present an interesting challenge to our wolves should we happen to uh, want to, um, should we happen to want to try that? Now, this is a specimen male. This is part of the pack, and I think he would, I feel like Lepus would kind of stand his ground. Uh, but you know what? He's named after the hair. He's not going to, uh, he's not going to, to stick around more than he has to. He's going to go ahead and, uh, and leave. <laughs> he's not going to wait around to get attacked. He's going to see if he's, uh, kind of allowed in the territory or not, which, obviously, this case, no. That was a, that was a pretty clear no. But, uh, yeah, so it could present a bit of an interesting challenge to our wolves, if uh, one of them happened to be a little bit more uh, inclined to not just look for a dispersal, but to see if there's a wolf already in a pack who might who might be able to convince to disperse, he or she. I mean, I guess a female wolf could do this too. That's not uh, that's not the situation I heard about was. Um, it could be it could be kind of an interesting thing. So I'm definitely hoping that will be added. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was touched on in a blog post, but I'm not 100% sure, so uh, don't quote me on it. We'll see for sure what happens when we get there, and um, so yeah. But uh, the question a lot of you guys are probably asking right now is, Jay, you said something about a wolf quest key. Well, I'll go ahead and answer that. So somewhere in this video, you may have seen or may see in the future here uh, that there's going to be a little pop-up uh, with Katari on it and she's gonna ask you a question. Answer that question in the comments and um, you will be entered into a drawing at the end of the month. This is gonna go on for every video, so you'll have to listen and you'll have to look around and see if you can find where Katari is gonna show up and ask you a question. If you answer her question correctly, then you'll get a ticket. And so, of course, you can get multiple tickets over the course of this month. This is gonna go on for, what, three more weeks now? And then at the end of the month, after we run our last uh, session of Wolf Quest for the month, I'll go ahead, go through the entries, pick a winner, and uh, I'll go ahead and post the answer to the questions. And um, and uh, we'll talk, or, and then we'll, we'll contact the winner. So uh, this could be a fun little way to um, to kind of to kind of make it a little bit more interactive and to give you guys something to do because the trick with these questions is that they're all about wolves and they're all or about Yellowstone or something related to Wolf Quest basically. So you guys may have to go and research these things because I'm gonna guess you don't know a lot of these off the top of your head. I didn't know a lot of them off the top of my head. I had to go look these things up. So. Uh, sometimes there's multiple answers. If you don't word it the exact same way I worded it, then that's fine. As long as you're getting the gist of it, um, that's fine. But uh, this is just kind of a fun little scavenger hunt that I thought uh, could be interesting to do and uh, to, it could give you guys um, a little bit of something that could be kind of fun to check out and uh, that could inspire a bit of research because research is a valuable topic and uh, it's good to learn to be able to research but this is a more fun way of researching than they're ever going to teach you in school. <laughs> All right, so we have a slough male who is completely dark in color. Hello, you look very much like a shadow, a part of the shadow there. So let's just see what you say. Is he gonna- oh, he's definitely gonna attack. Let's not even submit, we're just gonna run for it. <laughs> so, that would not be a situation we wanted to uh, mess around with. He definitely- he took a huge chunk out of our health there. We're gonna go uh, get some food and um, 
So far, I think it looks like our, our we'll try druid territory and see if there's any dispersals hanging around there. Now, if we find a wolf, it's not going to be a druid wolf. That was part of the reason we didn't want to go there right away. Also because the druids are mean. <laughs> um, but uh, we don't normally go to druid territory first with the descendant of Nova just because uh, druid or Nova's mate was a druid originally. And so obviously those dispersals are distantly related. That's not to say there couldn't be a dispersal checking out the pack just like we are. And so that's what we're hoping to look for. But that's generally why we try to avoid the druid pack at first. Oh, we got some rain. Wow, that's not something we see too commonly here on Amethyst Mountain. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the reasoning why we generally don't take Nova's descendants to the Druid territory first. They're kind of our, our last resort there because uh, just because we originally have Druid ancestry and uh, so it, it wouldn't make a lot of sense for that to be the first place a wolf would look because they're less likely to have good luck. Now, obviously, in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't play into the gameplay. It's kind of just the lore thing we do, but it's fun <laughs> and it makes things interesting. So... Uh, we tend to persist that tradition. It'll be interesting to see how that happens because um, if you guys have been paying close attention, it looks like there's a new pack name that's been showing up in the uh, Wolves and Wolf Quest 3. And so uh, the pack dynamics seem to be possibly changing slightly. And so that could be kind of interesting to see how that may work out too and how uh, possibly the idea of... I think they're, it sounds like they're updating it to be a little bit more current because... Uh, th these packs that are here currently, the Druid, the Slough, and the Specimen Pack, are all uh, ones that were active at the time the game was created. But a lot of that has changed. The Druid Pack is now completely defunct. There's no mem- and I don't- I think the last member of the- that last actual member of the Druid Pack, I believe, has died. And so now there are just descendants roaming around, which is eerily mirror to what we're seeing happening here. Um, but with that in mind, uh, I think- uh, they may be trying to update it to be a little bit more current. We'll have to see. Uh, again, that's not something I'm positive of, but that's what it looks like at least. And so that could be kind of interesting if we suddenly see a shift in the packs. Uh, the packs changing kind of between the, the generations. Okay, who do we have here? We have a dispersal female. Hmm. So, let's see. Uh, I actually like her quite a bit. She's got kind of that brownish pelt. And uh, I feel like she seems like she could be quite a good fit here. She also looks pretty small, much like Lepus himself, so she's probably pretty fast as well. And so we might have a, a couple of very quick wolves here. So let's go ahead and greet her. We can go ahead and say, I like you. This is part of the system that's going to be getting replaced as well. So uh, this will no longer be in the, uh, the later version of it. And uh, the, it'll be replaced by the new courtship system, which will be really cool to see because, of course, this is same old, same old. <laughs> uh, we have this memorized by this point. And uh, while it is still pretty cute, uh, they definitely are going to push the limitations of what they can do a lot more and make it a much more interactive and engaging system. So we'll go ahead and say let's start a pack. And uh, let's see here. Hmm... All right, so it looks like she liked that. And we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and say let's start a pack again. And that should be good. She's actually a little bit bigger than him. So that's kind of funny. Um, hmm, I, it occurs to me, I don't actually have a name for her. So what would be, be a good name? So we have Lepus the Hare. Um, hmm, what would be a good name for her? So I think we're going to go ahead and we'll actually call her Swift, because uh, Lipa said Swift. That seems like something that fits quite well. So here we go. Let's get names on so we can see Swift's name. We can see where she is. And we'll have these two head off towards, um, toward, towards Slough Creek here. So don't forget, you guys, don't forget to uh, keep your eyes peeled throughout the video. If you didn't see it, go back and check again, because you don't want to miss this opportunity. And... Uh, I, I feel like this will be a little bit of, of a fun way of doing a giveaway here. So let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know if you guys enjoy it or not. Um, and if you guys do like it, we can maybe try and do it again at some point. So uh, it's kind of just an experiment to see how it goes. And if you guys have fun, if I have fun, if we all like it, then we can possibly try to do this again in the future. Maybe we'll even spread it to some of our other series. So, oh, there's a coyote. These guys are also getting an overhaul, and it already looks pretty cool. We've seen a little bit of them early on, 
and uh, they definitely seem like they're getting quite a bit of attention in the new update and uh, I can't wait to see how that's going to change things because as of right now there's not much you can do to except track them down and kill them and uh, they'll actually be a little bit more of an actual threat in the next version so, or maybe less of a threat, but more of a nuisance, but uh, nevertheless, they'll have a bit of a bigger role, and that'll be very cool to see. So, we gotta make our way all the gray across the map here, oh my goodness. Um, it's quite a distance to run, but I think we should be able to do it. So, let's head over here, and uh, we should be nearly there. That will be one thing that'll be interesting with the bigger maps, is how will stuff like this work? Because, uh, obviously, this is uh, quite a distance to run already, but uh, if the map itself is going to be that much bigger, then it could get a lot farther. So it'll be interesting to see how they handle that. Uh, I don't actually know what they're planning to do, so it'll be interesting to see what that uh, ends up, how that ends up working out. Uh, but let's head out this way. We will run through the very tall bushes, and then next time we'll be settling down in Slot Creek, and we'll have to see what uh, we'll have to see how that might work out. We'll have to see. Uh, if we can find a place where we can actually spawn in some bunnies so that we have some food to eat. Or I keep calling them bunnies, technically they're hares. Bad habit that I need to break. So I'm going to be trying to do that here because technically it's not correct. <laughs> so we'll head over here and uh, we'll go ahead and wrap up the episode here for today. I think because it is about that time again. So next time we'll be jumping into Slough Creek. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.